Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.8 To protect my unalloyed devotees, to annihilate the wicked, and to firmly establish religion, I appear in every age. Sar Ardhavarshini O Arjuna, a question may arise in your heart regarding the need for me to appear when saintly kings, highly learned brahmana sages and my devotees are capable of rectifying the decline of religion and the increase of irreligion. Listen to my answer. Although it is true that they can do this work, I personally appear in order to perform acts that are impossible for others. To explain this, I have spoken this verse beginning with Paritranaya. Paritranaya, protecting the saintly devotees, refers to protecting the acutely eager hearts of my exclusive one-pointed devotees who are suffering from an intense hankering to take darshan of me. Just to remove that suffering, I manifest myself. Dushkritam means that I appear to annihilate Ravana, Kamsa, Keshi and the other demons who give pain to my devotees and who cannot be killed by anyone else. Dharma, Samstha, Pan, Altaya means that I advance in order to perfectly establish the supreme eternal religion, which is endowed with the characteristics of bhajan, meditation, service to me, the congregational chanting of the holy name, and so forth. It is impossible for others to do this. Yogi Yogi means that I appear in every yuga, age, or kalpa, a day of Lord Brahma. Although I punish the miscreants, one should not assume that I am guilty of being biased. By killing these miscreants with my own hands, I protect them from going to hell for their sinful deeds, and I deliver them from material existence. You should consider this punishment to be my mercy. Sar Ardhavarshni Prakashikariti Sri Bhagavan establishes Varn Ashram Dharma by transmitting his potency into the hearts of his prominent saintly devotees in the royal and brahminical orders. However, Bhagavan himself descends for three reasons. First, to pacify the afflictions of those devotees who are suffering in separation from him. Second, to kill demons like Kamsa, who strongly oppose the saintly persons and who cannot be killed by others. And third, to propagate the message of pure devotion. While defining the word avatara, Srila Jiva Goswami Pada writes, Avatarascha prakrita vaibhave vataranam iti. Sri Bhagavan's descent to this material creation is known as avatara. Sri Baladeva Vidyabhushana has elucidated on the same point in different words. Apra panchat prapanche vataranam kalv avataraha. Bhagavan's descent from his unmanifest eternal abode to the mundane plane is called avatara. Sri Krishna is avatari, the origin of unlimited avataras. He is therefore called Svayam Bhagavan, the original supreme person who has no cause other than himself. His avataras are of six types. First, Puruja Avatara, second, Guna Avatara, third, Lila Avatara, fourth, Manvantara Avatara, 
Fifth, Yoga Avatara. And sixth, Shaktyavesha Avatara. This all stated in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila, Chapter 20. There are four ages or yugas, Sadhya, Dreta, Dwapara and Kali. In Srimad Bhagavatam 11.5.20, it is stated that Krishna appears in all of them. Kritam Dreta Dvaparam Cha Kalir Iti Eshu Keshavaha Nana Varna Bida Karo Nanaiva Vidine Jyati One day of Lord Brahma's lifespan is called a Kalpa. There are fourteen different incarnations of Manu called Manvantaras in each Kalpa. There are 1,000 Chatur Yugas, complete cycles of the four ages, in one day of Brahma. According to the calculations of human solar years, one day of Brahma equals 4,320,000,000 years. 4.320,000,000 zero 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 years three hundred and sixty such days make one year of brahma and brahma lives for one hundred such years although bhagavan kills the wicked demons he remains aloof from their faults in other words he is free from the imperfection of being biased his killing them is only an exhibition of his mercy upon them. Commenting on the verse Ajasya Yanmot Pata Nashanaya Srimad Bhagavatam 3.1.44, Srila Vishmana Chakavarti Thakur writes Although Bhagavan is unborn, Aja, he descends to annihilate and liberate the demons who impedes the path of truth. Srila Sridhar Swami also has commended in a similar manner. Lalane Tadane Matur Nakurunya Yatar Bhakti Tadvat Eva Maheshasya Niyantur Guna Doshayoho Just as an affectionate mother is not considered hard-hearted or harsh, if she chastises her child in the course of raising and caring for him, the Supreme Lord Parameshwara is also not cruel when he disciplines the jivas to bring out their good qualities and diminish their bad ones. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has quoted Sri Krishna as follows. I establish Varn Ashram Dharma by infusing my potency into the royal and brahminical saints who are devoted to me. However, in order to protect my foremost pure devotees from non-devotees, there is a need for my incarnations to appear. Thus, appearing as the Yuga Avatara, the incarnation for each age, I protect the saintly devotees. By eliminating the wicked demons, I redress the decline in religion, and by preaching the limbs of bhakti, such as hearing shravana and chanting kirtana, I establish the eternal religion of the living entities. I descend in every age. From this statement, one should understand that I also descend in Kali Yuga and in my incarnation as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I will establish that extremely rare prema, the eternal religion of divine love, solely by the process of chanting the holy name. This incarnation has no other purpose and therefore it is the greatest incarnation of all. Even so, I will remain concealed from the common man. 
my pure devotees will naturally be attracted to me. And you, Arjuna, will realize this when you appear with me in that age. The most wonderful feature of this hidden avatara who delivers the people of Kali Yuga is that I reform the miscreants, wicked natures, by blessing them with divine love through the chanting of the holy name, Nama Sankirtan. I do not reform them by completely annihilating them, as I did in my previous incarnations. <laughs>